What does it take to build something great? Well, that's the question that we're going to consider today here on Everyday Design as I review the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. So the book begins explaining that, that Collins and his team went through tons of research, extensive, significant research to answer this question, what are the principles, the enduring, timeless principles of great companies? And the research led them to identify six common traits of those organizations. So let's walk through all six of these. The first one is having a what they call a level five leader at the top of the organization. And they define that as someone as a leader who blends this extreme personal humility with um, intense professional will. The second quality is getting the right people before the right strategy. So it's not people instead of strategy, but people before strategy. Then third is just a willingness to confront the brutal facts, this organizational honesty. Then fourth is this idea of a hedgehog concept that each organization had, had answered three questions and really found the intersection of these three questions. So think of like a Venn diagram here of what are we deeply passionate about? What could we become best in the world at? And what drives our economic engine? So they answered, they found what things, what behaviors, what business lives in the intersection of those. And then the fifth and sixth traits come off of that. And so the fifth one being uh, establishing a culture of discipline. That's a discipline to stay inside the hedgehog concept. And then six, leveraging technology for acceleration. So leveraging technology, but only here in this space, not on a, something that's cool and shiny over here, but staying, keeping this discipline. So a lot of it really just boils down to quality people, transparent honesty, and consistent focus. And these qualities allow leaders and organizations to move effectively amidst change, just like we see today. Um, and the examples in the book are all large established organizations. So at the end, Collins says that he saw these same traits in the companies he focused on in his other book, Built to Last, um, as they were being established. So he, he believes that they still apply to that entrepreneurial stage, but he doesn't go into a ton more detail there. But there are a lot of principles that any leader can learn from. You know, two examples of that being just as a leader, being open to honest feedback, which is huge, but strangely not common um, with a lot of leaders. And then the second is putting your best people on your biggest opportunities rather than on solving your biggest problems. That one I thought was interesting. You may be thinking, okay, this sounds great, but how do I identify that hedgehog concept that's right there in the middle? That sounds really hard. Well, it is kind of hard. And actually um, a surprising fact from the book that it took most of those organizations on average four years to identify their hedgehog concept, which does kind of, it's a little humbling, but it sets some expectations about pace. Another expectation to set is that the becoming great isn't like a status to arrive at because if these principles aren't continued to be applied, you see actually even after the book is written, you look back at some of these examples when those leader, those, those organizations stopped applying those principles, they went from great back to good or even maybe mediocre. And so the, the book doesn't really provide quick fixes for organizations or leaders, but it does give quality stories and principles that you can apply over time. And so maybe that that discipline um, isn't the kind of thing that gets a lot of clicks, but it is what informs effective leadership. And so I think Good to Great really is a book that I think every leader at some point should read. So if you enjoyed this book review, click, click like, click subscribe. And if you have other books or anything else that you want me to re review, just mention in the comments. Thanks.